housing for all 100 smart cities rapid urbanization india is on the verge of a construction boom but with it comes a colossal amount of construction waste one which india is just not equipped to handle globally recycling and efficient design has seen developed countries reuse nearly 100 percent of their construction waste why can't india follow suit nikhil narayan shivdas has this report 21st century India is witnessing a massive construction boom and skyscrapers dot the skyline in every major city. But this urban jungle has a price to pay in the form of millions of tons of construction waste generated every year. We calculated the amount of CND waste being generated in India uh, last year. So our estimates was something around 530 million ton in a year. And this is almost 55 times the official estimates which are there. Comprising debris such as sand, concrete, glass, steel and wood, construction waste can be a major source of pollution. In fact, Delhi recently saw 33 under construction properties fined for flouting pollution norms and improper disposal of construction debris. At a time when India is gearing up to provide housing for all, is there a way to minimize construction waste? Industry experts say it's very possible. If it's a concrete or a brick, the brick can be used for a brick bat, which is used for waterproofing. That's one example. Another case is if you use structural members, those structural members can be used for uh, an alternative product, which can be modified using the same uh, structure, but welded or modified or cut in a manner which is meeting the new requirement of the building. That's advice backed by results. The Godrej Group has been striving to minimize construction waste on their sprawling plots in Vikroli by collecting debris from their various projects and recycling and reusing it in other projects. This year, our efforts is actually not to allow any material to go to the municipal landfill. We are putting our plant where we will be crushing the concrete and uh, pulverizing it and using it for uh, with binding materials like cement etc to eventually make blocks out of the same. This will help us use it in our own projects and also uh, we would have sp a surplus capacity we would use these blocks and pavers for those who would like to use it the, within the city. Making matters worse is the lack of construction waste recycling centers in India with only one functional unit available in Delhi. Private recyclers could help but have been facing a tough time dealing with regressive government regulations. The product they produce is actually recycled sand and recycled aggregate which is used in concrete and, and sand and aggregate is, is usually considered a minor mineral so you need to pay royalty to it, royalty on it. So these mining department went and asked, started asking royalty for them. So it made it impossible to keep the product economically feasible. They can give the some incentives in the property tax rates or every state government so that everybody will encourage uh, these things. Additionally, the Bureau of Indian Standards doesn't consider recycled construction waste as proper construction material. But that could change with new notifications coming out in the next two months. Efficiently recycling and reusing building material waste can save developers up to a whopping 150 tons of construction waste per project. A very good reason why developers need to efficiently invest in tackling this problem. From Mumbai, Nikhil Narayan Shivdas, NDTV. And with that, we'll slip into a short break. Up next on The Property Show, Prime Property Options in Hyderabad.